I recently filmed the Majesty 110 from Golfcraft. It was a fantastic boat and they said, why don't you come and do our 140? We've got it in Monaco. And this is it. And this really is magnificent. So we're going to do a full tour on this one into every area. Crew areas, engine areas, garage, the lot. And we're going to start here. Now, if you haven't seen the other film, I'll explain this briefly. This is a transformer. It makes it a very easy way to get on and off the boat. And this will raise and lower. So if you want to get onto a higher key, you can do these steps raise up with it, or you can drop it down into the water and that gives you great access into the water. And the first thing we come to on this boat is this magnificent beach club area just here. That's a really lovely area. And, uh, and then we have the steps here. And then this will take us up to the cockpit. Worth mentioning while we're here, this is a model of the Majesty 175. That's a boat that's coming out, I think, in a year or two's time. So that is going to be well worth seeing as well. They're really going places, this company. So let's head on in. Big area here. And there are balconies on either side. You can see that just here. So that will drop down flat. And then there's railings that go in. And there's another one on the other side. So that makes this area absolutely huge. And this door takes us down to the engine room and the garage. We're going to do that last. We're going to start off with the interior. Now this is a really big area. This is about 55 square meters. It's absolutely gigantic for the size of the boat. Well, in fact, it's absolutely gigantic full stop. But that looks absolutely superb. Floor to ceiling windows as well, so you get a tremendous view. We're at a boat show at the minute, so we're a bit cheek by jowl with the other boats, but you can get the idea when this is, uh, when this is at anchor, you've got a fantastic view out. Uh, just behind, there's a TV built in behind this mirror, so you can't see it when it's switched off, but when it's switched on, that shines through there, which gives you a great area to watch a bit of a film, whatever you want to do. And then there's dining up here for 10 people. Now that area over there takes us into the crew domain. We're going to do that last. I think we're going to head forward. I'm going to show you the guest areas first of all. So there's a little touch thing here that powers the door open. And you'll notice that the lights come on automatically as we come into these areas. You'll see it light up. There we go. Now, this is a terrific lobby area just here. And, uh, and these are the stairs that lead up to the upper deck and down to more guest areas. But we're going to head on forward. There's a day heads just here. So if somebody on this deck wants to use the facilities, that's easy to get to. But ahead of this then is the master cabin. And the first thing it greets us is this lovely little office area just here. And then there's a huge walk-in wardrobe over on this side. So masses of space, masses of storage. But check this out. What a great cabin that is. And side balcony. So you have these big doors here. You can slide those open. The balcony drops down flat. And then this makes a wonderful area. We can wander out, sit out there for a bit of breakfast. Makes a wonderful private little area. That's really nice. Another concealed TV is in here. This is more wardrobe space on this side. And as we head forward, you'll see these lights coming on automatically again. There we go. And this is the bathroom. Literally the bathroom. It's got the bath in. Love this feature on the back wall. All fully illuminated. That looks fantastic. The toilet itself is tucked in there along with the bidet. And then there's a big shower area on this side. And of course, your sinks towels and everything else. This is a massive area though, really good. And you can close this off from this cabin, of course, if you want to, or you can leave it open as it is at the moment. Okay, let's go back out through here. Get a better look at that side balcony just here. So you've got this area all the time, but then you can extend it by dropping that balcony out as well. Excellent, okay, let's head on back. Lots to cover on this boat, it's a huge boat. And as we come back out here, one thing worth mentioning is there's actually a secret door. I think it's, yeah, it's here. So that is into the crew area, which allows the crew to access this area then directly. And they will come to get out through the side door. They can go into the main saloon or up or down from here without going directly through the guest areas. We're going to go down first of all. And this takes us down to the guest cabins. Again, all lighting up nicely as we approach. So there are two cabins here. These are singles, as you can see. And as you'd expect, these are fully en suite. And again, this should light up. There we go. Big rainfall shower and beautifully appointed, as you'd expect. Another of those hidden TVs. 
And as we come back around here, this is pretty much identical. So, twin cabin. I love these little storage areas like this they've put in. And again, ensuite. And if we head this way, this is where the double cabins are located. There are bigger cabins. And again, huge wardrobes just here. And very, very nice en suites. Lovely. I mean, we are into a, a big yacht, so you'd expect it, but these are the sort of areas that you don't even get as master cabins in what you might call normal boats. There's a dressing area here. And we will do the last one just for completion. So another double cabin just there. Wardrobes and the ensuite. Really nice. Another thing worth mentioning actually while we're down here is they've made good use of the space for things like storage. So just here, this is a great area for linen and that kind of stuff that you'd want on this level. So you're not having to carry it all up and down the stairs all the time. Okay, so we're back up this stairwell. We're gonna head up then to the upper deck. And we'll take a look at that. So we come right round here, head on round again. And this will bring us out on the upper deck. So I think what we'll do here is we will head forward, first of all, and we'll take a look at the bridge. So this is the bridge area. One thing worth mentioning as we go past, this is the server space. Look at this. So for all the networking, internet servers, hi-fi, all that kind of thing. That's all in there where it can be got at. It gives you some idea of the level of complexity that goes into the background of these boats. And a stunning bridge. This is really nice. I love the way they finished it off with details like this, sort of like a world map on the ceiling. It's very classy. And then of course all your controls, handheld VHF radios, the main radios for the boat, the throttles, the steering, all the screens, all proper kit. And in fact also on this deck is the captain's cabin. So if we head back here, he gets this area so he's on call when the boat's underway on long passages and he has a very nice cabin very well catered for and as you'd expect it's en suite with a really nice shower very good okay while we're at this end we will head on round to the front i think so if we come out of here, these are wing stations. So when you're maneuvering the boat in close quarters, you can stand out here. You've got controls of your thrusters and your throttles and so on. And then you can actually look down the side of the boat and uh, see exactly what you're doing with it. They're on both sides. And then there's a great social area out here on the front. That's huge. It's a really nice woodworking with these tables and this beautiful teak. And at the front of the boat are a couple of jet skis and they are lifted on and off by this large crane so that just lifts them out off and down what's quite handy with this in fact of course is you can launch these even if you are in quite tight confines as we are at the minute let's go right to the front and take a look back so i think i mentioned we're at the monaco yacht show at the moment on an uncharacteristically cloudy day but we do have a beautiful yacht to look at so we're not complaining Okay, let's head on back. We'll take a look at the aft areas of this upper deck and then we'll head on up to the sun deck. We'll get on this side this time. Now you, you can walk from here down the sides and down to the back of the boat without going inside if you want to. That's what that area there takes you down to. But we're not going to do that. We're going to back up, head back through this door into the wheelhouse and take a look further aft in this area. Now there are a couple of things to point out as we go through here. On this side there is another day heads. 
So if you're on this level, you don't need to be going up and down stairs looking for the facilities. They're right there. And on the other side is access to the bar for the crew. So they can then come into here, put the fridges at the back, sink, and this allows them to serve this upper deck straight through here, this lovely bar area. Excellent, okay. And then this is the upper saloon. So it's a little bit more informal than the lower saloon. Lovely area to gather of an evening, have a drink at this bar where the big TV is hidden in behind there. And this then takes us out through these sliding doors to the upper aft deck. Great little socialising area again under the shade of this. And another bar outside. Masses of space everywhere on this boat. Really good. And as you'll notice, there is another stairway over here. That takes us up to the sun deck. Let's go and check that out. So what do we have here? We have at the back of the boat, massive hot tub, really good size. And you notice there's a crane up here. And the reason for the crane is so that you can lift onto here more jet skis if you want them. You could put a big five meter tender up here. If you wanted another tender, there is a tender in a garage also, but it allows this area to be very versatile. You can use it however you want. You can leave it just as sun lounging areas as we've got at the minute, put toys up here, put a tender up here, your choice. head on forward. Another thing worth mentioning is this little fella here. This is a nice little waterfall, just gently cascades water down into here. Very nice little feature. Okay, dining area up here. Now there are opening sections, you can see this one's open. If we head on forward you'll see the other one is closed, just to give you the idea. So depending on whether you've got bright sunshine or you want a bit of shade, you can adapt these areas to suit. And then a terrific area here, this is really nice. And then from here, of course, we can look down over the front of the boat. You do get an impression of the size up here. It's a big boat. What else have we got? Well, on this side, there is storage. So things like canopies, that kind of thing can be put in here. And on the other side, there is another day heads. So again, if you're up on this level, you want to use the facilities, they're right there. And then finally, of course, on this side is the bar area. Stunning. Very, very nice. Okay, let's head on back down. We're gonna go and check out the crew areas, the galley, and we're gonna finish off with the tender garage and the engine space, all of which is pretty spectacular. So I think what we're going to do this time is we're going to head down this one rather than go back through the cabin. This will take us back down to the main deck aft cockpit and then we can go in and forward from here. Okay, so we're back into the main saloon. Let's pause and take another look because it is just so dramatic. This incidentally won an award in the last couple of days at one of the Super Yacht Awards for its interior design. And I can see why, because it is stunning to look at. Really lovely. Okay, let's go back through here. So if we head over onto this side, this is then going to take us into the crew areas. So I'll just give a little wave here. That powers that door open. Takes us into the pantry. And there's a side access door here. So again, the crew, when they come out of here, can go straight out and down the side of the boat and out without having to go through the guest areas. But if we head in through here, we'll find the galley. Look at that. That is a spectacular area. Very nicely done. It is, of course, all Miele equipment right the way through. You can see it over here as well. And this is all refrigeration. So you have fridges on this side and that's a big freezer just there. And a mess area for the crew together. But if we head on down, this then takes us down to the crew cabins. And that is that little secret door that takes
takes you back out to service these areas if you want to. So you can go into the master cabin or out and down to that lobby to go up or down the stairs. So that's quite cunning. Okay, let's jump on back and head on down. So down here we have three cabins. And the crew are actually using this boat at the minute. So I'm just going to show you the one. They've all got twin berths, as you can see here. They've all got masses of storage. There's a little desk in here as well. And of course, these are en suite. So there's a decent sized shower in here and toilet and so on. As I say, there are three of these. There's one directly opposite. And then there's one up at the head of the boat. But they're all very similar to that one. As I say, they are in use at the minute. The crew are on this boat. So we're just going to show the one of them. OK, let's head on back because we're going to go and take in the engineering spaces, which are pretty spectacular. I think what we're going to do now is pop out through that secret door. There we go. I can show you how this works. So if we go back out through here, now we have access straight out to the side decks. We have access up to the upper deck, down to service the guest rooms, all without going into the guest areas. Or we can go straight back, give us a little wave. And we're back into this main saloon area. So a lot of options. OK, we're going to head on back through here. And the access to the engineering areas, the garage and the engines are through this door. So let's head on down here. This is a pretty spectacular area, actually. OK, so this is both the garage and the laundry. So you have all the laundry facilities across the back and then the tender lives here and it has a side opening door and so the idea is you pick the tender up with this crane that's mounted in the ceiling and that will lift it out through that side access drop it down into the water but it means that this can be kept in here and protected well it can be serviced looked after and there's masses of room to move around it that's a really good garage and masses of headroom as well and you can see also the mechanism here for the doorway there's some really serious heavy duty engineering going on in this yacht. And the engines, as you probably guessed, are behind me here. Now these are a pair of MTU 2600 horsepower engines. They're V16, they are massive engines. And they're giving this yacht a top speed of around 20 knots, cruising at 16 knots. But if you drop the speed right back to 10 knots, you've got transatlantic range. She'll do about 4,000 miles. Twin generators back here. And that's another way out the boat. That takes you back out into that beach club area that we saw as we came on board. A lot more serious engineering, as you can see, a lot of plumbing, electrical equipment. But a very, very impressive space. As you'd expect, all standing headroom. And that is another access out of this area up through there. So there are various ways out of this area if they're ever needed in an emergency situation. What an incredible space that is. Awesome. OK. Let's come out of here. Swing that collar shut. There we go. Head on back out. Finish off in here, I think. So that is it. That is the Majesty 140 by Golfcraft. It's an absolutely incredible super yacht. Very pleased to be able to show you that one. I hope you've enjoyed that tour. If you have to, give the thumbs up a quick click. That helps the analytics. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you consider doing so because we've got some great super yachts coming. And I look forward to showing them to you soon. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.